Did you know that premature ejaculation affects around 30% of men worldwide? Talk about a party spoiler. Now, that's a fact that might have just raised an eyebrow or two, but it's the unexpected reality that many fellas face, and it's high time we shed some light on it. Premature ejaculation, or PE for short, isn't some rare exotic condition. Nope, it's as common as a cold, and yet it's shrouded in a lot of misconceptions. Some blokes think they're the only ones grappling with it, while others believe it's an irreversible curse. But let me tell you, mates, none of this is true. PE is a widespread issue, yes, but it's far from being a life sentence. It's a health hiccup that can be managed and treated effectively. So, if you're part of this not-so-exclusive club, don't fret. You're far from alone. Now let's dive into the main culprits behind this issue. You see, premature ejaculation isn't just some random event that pops up out of nowhere like a surprise kangaroo on a country road. It's more like a cricket match where multiple elements work together or against each other to determine the outcome. On one side of the pitch, we have psychological factors. Stress, for instance, is a notorious player in this game. It sneaks in like an uninvited guest, causing all sorts of havoc. Imagine you're at a party and you've just poured yourself a drink. Suddenly, stress walks in and you spill your drink all over your new shirt. That's what stress does in your body, except it's messing up your timing instead of your outfit. Depression and anxiety are also part of this team, often teaming up to play tricks on your mind. They're like those annoying siblings who always seem to get their way, no matter how hard you try to ignore them. They can make your body react in ways you'd rather it didn't, leading to those all-too-early finishes. On the other side of the pitch, we have biological factors. These are things that are hardwired into your system, like the settings on your phone that you can't change no matter how hard you try. Hormonal imbalances, abnormal levels of neurotransmitters, inflammation of the prostate or urethra, and inherited traits can all be contributors. They're the sneaky ninjas of the team, doing their damage without you even realizing it. And let's not forget about the role of personal habits. Excessive alcohol consumption and substance abuse can often play a part in this game. They're like the rowdy fans in the stands, influencing the game in ways you might not expect. So whether it's your overexcited brain or your rebellious body, there are plenty of reasons why you might be finishing the race a bit too soon. But don't lose hope just yet. There are plenty of lifeboats in this sea of quick finishes. Just like a kid learning to ride a bicycle, who falls, gets a few scrapes, but eventually finds their balance. Dealing with premature ejaculation is all about finding the right balance. And trust me, there are plenty of training wheels available to help you on your journey. Let's start with counseling. Think of it as a friendly chat with someone who's got a PhD in helping you last longer. A good counselor can help you navigate through any anxiety or stress that might be contributing to your quick finishes. Next, let's talk about behavioral techniques. Picture these as your personal coach, giving you the pep talk, the strategies, and the drills to help you go the distance. Techniques like the start-stop method, where you stop before you're about to finish, take a breather, and then start again or the squeeze technique where you literally squeeze the base to delay the grand finale. Now, if you're thinking, but mate, I need something a bit more medical, don't worry, we've got you covered. There are medications that can help you delay your finish line. These are like your trusty sidekicks, always there to back you up when you need a little extra help. And let's not forget about numbing creams. Imagine these as your secret weapon, reducing the sensitivity so you can focus on enjoying the journey rather than rushing to the destination. Now, I can hear some of you saying, but these treatments sound like a lot of work. Well, my friends, remember the old saying, no pain, no gain. And in this case, the gain is turning your quick sprints into a marathon. So chin up. With a little help from these lifeboats, you can navigate through the choppy waters and find your balance. Because at the end of the day, it's not about how quickly you finish, but how much you enjoy the journey. With the right approach, you can turn your sprint into a marathon. Remember, it's not a one-size-fits-all situation. Finding the right treatment might take some time and patience. Now, you wouldn't expect to become a master chef overnight, would you? Just like you can't whip up a souffle on your first try, it's the same with finding the right treatment for premature ejaculation. It's a process, a journey, if you will, 
and it's absolutely crucial to have patience. Think of it like this. You're on a quest, a noble knight in shining armor, and your dragon to slay is this issue. But, just like in those medieval tales, you can't just march up to the dragon and demand it to keel over. You need the right tools, the right strategy, and the right amount of patience. And who are your trusty advisors in this quest? It's your doctors and therapists. They're your Merlin in this Arthurian tale. They've got the wisdom, the knowledge, and the magic spells, or in this case, the right treatments. But it's not always going to be a straight path. You might try one treatment, and it's more like a dud spell that just fizzles out. It's easy to get disheartened, to want to hang up your armor and call it a day. But remember, even King Arthur had his share of trials and tribulations. Keep in mind, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And every journey has its bumps and hiccups. It's how you handle these hiccups that truly matters. So don't be afraid to laugh at yourself along the way. Humor is a great way to lighten the mood and keep things in perspective. And remember, everyone's journey is different. What works for one person might not work for you, and that's okay. It's not a competition. It's about finding what works for you. So, don't be disheartened if your buddy found his solution faster. You're on your own path, at your own pace. So keep your chin up. Your perfect solution might just be around the corner. Before we wrap up, here's a quick recap of our journey into the world of premature ejaculation. We started off with the unexpected reality, where we learned that this condition is more common than a kangaroo at a barbie. We then met the big players, the treatments that are making a difference. From the pharmaceutical powerhouses to the natural remedies, we unveiled a plethora of options. We then dived into the saving grace, the lifestyle changes and exercises that can help. Remember, just like a good Aussie footy match, it's all about control and strategy. And finally, we ventured down the road ahead, exploring the future of treatments. Now, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Did the pharmaceutical powerhouses surprise you? Or perhaps the lifestyle changes got you thinking? Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content. Remember, it's not about how fast you finish, it's about enjoying the journey.